Iraqi soldiers fire mortars and rockets on the outskirts of Ramadi, the provincial capital of Iraq's western Anbar province. The fighting comes less than two weeks after the Iraqi military suffered a humiliating defeat in Ramadi, withdrawing after attacks from Islamic State, also known as ISIL. Senior analyst Michael O'Hanlon of the Brookings Institution. Correct. So I think we're still underestimating ISIL. And obviously we could have and should have thought about what kind of reinforcements to the Iraqi army positions in Ramadi might have been helpful. The Pentagon says thousands of Iraqi forces are positioned to the south, east and northeast of Ramadi, but Islamic State fighters continue to be supplied from the west. It is not clear when a full assault on Ramadi will begin. U.S. officials have expressed optimism the city can be taken back by Iraqi forces soon. But analyst Michael O'Hanlon says the fight will be tough. I'm not sure ISIL is becoming better and stronger, but it's hard to dislodge a group like this from territory they already control when they have at least a moderately reliable source of revenue and an ability to coerce and intimidate the population that they're presiding over. Some Sunni tribesmen have been fighting Islamic State militants in Anbar. Iraqi Shiite militias are joining the fight on the government side, raising fears of sectarian strife. Bill Roggio at the Foundation for Defense of Democracies spoke to VOA via Skype. I think that's something that's it's really a big mistake that's being made in, inside Iraq right now is the involvement of the Shia militias is merely going to drive much of the Sunni population to either get off the fence and support the Islamic State or remain there and maybe passively support the Islamic State. A combination of Iraqi security forces and allied Sunni tribal fighters withdrew from Ramadi following a barrage of suicide attacks. Meredith Buell, VOA News, Washington.